you can expect as Missouri's Attorney General fights to remove St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner from office. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes talked with a former judge, now attorney, who once prosecuted a similar case against a public official and won. The legal term for this action against Kim Gardner is a filing called Quo Warranto. Missouri's Attorney General will have to prove to a judge the St. Louis Circuit Attorney is not fit to serve. Let's not forget what brought us here, the heart-wrenching catastrophe that changed a family's life forever. The Edmondsons, who were visiting St. Louis from Tennessee for a volleyball tournament. 17-year-old Janae lost her legs when a violent crash flew onto the sidewalk where she was walking and took both of her legs. The driver responsible, a violent suspect who no one seems to argue should have been in jail. He's locked up now with a detention hearing scheduled Monday. Janae's GoFundMe at about a half a million dollars includes the latest update on her medical condition. February 23rd, an entry says Janae was recently able to interact with her parents and sister. This was a blessing for them to see her open her eyes and engage with the room. And after four surgeries, doctors call her a fighter. Support for the Edmondsons is overwhelming and seemingly at every turn, like this example seen from Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox, IBEW Local 1 glowing in Janae's favorite color purple. While it is true my office could have done more, to say we did nothing is only disingenuous. Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey intends to prove Gardner wrong. We asked former Circuit Court Judge Jack Garvey what we can expect. He knows because he successfully prosecuted former St. Louis license collector Billy Boykins in 1989 after an audit found she failed to collect millions in taxes. Garvey, now a private attorney with Straunch, Jennings and Garvey, says here's what you can expect. The attorney general must prove willful violation or neglect of official duty. He must prove it to a judge, not a jury. Court proceedings could take about six months, and if the act is successful, a Supreme Court Marshal will come and serve her personally. We asked the circuit attorney's office if Gardner has hired a defense attorney. They said they're reviewing the motion first to decide their next steps. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.